Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series. For API Recommended Practice 572, Inspection Practices for Pressure Vessels. In this lecture, we will discuss the Clause 3. Terms and definitions This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 3 as well as reviews of some of the important sub-clauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 3 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Maximum Allowable Working Pressure MAWP. The maximum gauge pressure permitted at the top of a pressure vessel in its operating position for a designated temperature. The MAWP may refer to either the original design or a re-rated MAWP. As illustrated in figure, maximum allowable working pressure is maximum gauge pressure permitted at the top of a pressure vessel. Maximum pressure of the vessel is equal to maximum allowable working pressure plus static head. Please note that the hydrostatic head of water is equal to 0.433 psi per vertical foot above the point where the pressure will measured. Condition Monitoring Locations CMLs. Designated areas on pressure vessels where periodic external examinations are conducted in order to directly assess the condition of the vessel. CMLs may contain one or more examination points and utilize multiple inspection techniques that are based on the predicted damage mechanism to give the highest probability of detection. Examination point An area within a CML defined by a circle having a diameter not greater than 3 inch for pressure vessels. CMLs may contain multiple examination points for example, a vessel nozzle may be a CML and have multiple examination points. Repair The work necessary to restore a vessel to a condition suitable for safe operation at the design conditions. The work shall be considered a repair. Any welding, cutting, or grinding operation on a pressure-containing component. The work shall be considered an alteration, and the requirements for re-rating shall be satisfied. If any of the restorative work results in a change to the design temperature, minimum design metal temperature, or maximum allowable working pressure. Alteration A physical change in any component that has design implications that affect the pressure containing capability of a pressure vessel beyond the scope described in existing data reports. The following should not be considered alterations. Any comparable or duplicate replacement the addition of any reinforced nozzle less than or equal to the size of existing reinforced nozzles, and the addition of nozzles not requiring reinforcement. Rerating a change in either the design temperature rating, the minimum design metal temperature, or the maximum allowable working pressure rating of a vessel. The design temperature and maximum allowable working pressure of a vessel may be increased or decreased because of a re-rating. Derating below original design conditions is a permissible way to provide for additional corrosion allowance. 
Review questions. Question number one. At what position is MAWP calculated for in a vertical pressure vessel? Answer is B. Question number two. Designated areas on pressure vessels where periodic exams are conducted are called. Answer is D. Question number three. An examination point is circular area with a diameter not greater than. Answer is D. Question number four. A pressure vessel is equipped with an NPS-10 reinforced nozzle. Which of the following would be considered an alteration to the vessel? Answer is A. Question number 5. Which of these should not be considered a repair to a pressure vessel? Answer is B. Question number 6. When a vessel is nearing its minimum allowed thickness, a permissible way to provide for additional corrosion allowance, without using a repair organization is to. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.